Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can add post CSS to your SaaS workflow using Gulp. Now, this is super easy and it's not going to take any time at all, so let's get started right now. So for this video, we're going to be using Gulp SaaS. Now, Gulp SaaS is a SaaS plugin for Gulp that is using Node SaaS, which is a node wrapper around Lib SaaS, which is a version of SaaS that is not written in Ruby, but uh, written in C. Now, if that all sounds ridiculous, it's kind of uh, because it is, but it works really well and it plays really nicely with node based anything. So it fits really nicely into your current Gulp workflow. So let's go ahead and install this plugin just with the npm gulp hyphen sass we can do that in our terminal pm install gulp hyphen sass save dev add it to our package file here and we're going to get post css in our project and as you can see it's installing some dependencies and it says it's just going to take one second okay great so we now have this gulp sass installed let's go ahead and add it to our gulp file like we do for everything now the easiest way to do this is simply just to add it at the top here SAS, require SAS. Uh, and now we can really just pipe in, in this pipe. And we don't have to use any of the other features right now since we're not exactly highlighting uh, the SAS features for this. But what we can do is say scss files, uh, particularly a style.scss. And in addition, we're going to change this to SCSS instead of watching CSS files. Now I can go ahead and rename my styles.css to styles.scss. And we can save that. Now if everything should be fine, we should be easily using SAS with post CSS. So what it's first going to do is run through and compile our SAS. It's going to take care of anything like the nested CSS or anything like that. And it's going to output CSS. It's then going to run that through the post CSS processors. Since the only one we have right now is the CSS ring, it's, it's just going to minify it. And now you might be thinking, well, I can do compression and minification without post CSS, but, but there's actually a ton of other these processors that we're going to go over. In addition, this one is really just to show that everything is up and running right now. So now let's change this background from red to blue. Now we can go ahead and run that command just by gulp styles and it should compile. Even though it's giving me some weird message about uh, this semicolon being deprecated, uh, it still ran and compiled. So if we check out our styles.css, you'll see that we did in fact have this body background uh, is now equal to blue. And of course, if we were to be running this as the watch command, it would be changing this every single time that we modified this styles.scss. So there we have it. We now have gulp taking in the styles.scss file. It's then running it through the SAS processor and then running it through the post CSS processor. So in the next video, we're gonna show you how to do this exact same thing using stylus. So if you use stylus, it's just as easy to get up and running with that. After that, we're sort of done with these preparations videos where we're showing you sort of process and then after that we're going to get into some of the great and amazing post CSS packages starting with auto prefixer so as always this is Scott with level up tutorials if you have any questions or comments leave a comment in the video or hit us up at level up tuts we love to hear from you thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye